pathogenesis of alcoholic liver disease a very very important question let us look at the details of this now first you should say this person will drink alcohol the alcohol itself will cause direct hepatotoxicity of the liver now this uh, alcohol will get metabolized, it will form acetaldehyde and some acid, acetate. All these are the metabolites of the alcohol. They cause indirect hepatotoxicity of the liver. Just note here they have drawn two livers here. Got it? Now coming to oxidative stress, there are free radicals. Free radicals are going to add to the oxidative stress on the liver. Then you have the immune mechanism immunological effects let me see here here they have done that immunological effects then you have inflammation then you have fibrogenesis then you have increased redox ratio they have written it here retention of liver cell water and protein retention of liver cell water and protein hypoxia less oxygen available increased liver fat increased liver fat so all these are going to be the pathogenesis of the alcoholic liver disease don't you worry don't you worry let's look at the details now direct hepatotoxicity by ethanol ethanol ingestion may cause direct hepatotoxicity where are we? Direct hepatotoxicity and they can produce fatty change. Ethanol is directly toxic to the microtubules, to the mitochondria and the membrane of hepatocytes. So it will destroy what and all the microtubules, the mitochondria and the membrane of hepatocytes. All these are going to get destroyed by ethanol directly. Okay. Moving on. Hepatotoxicity by ethanol metabolites. Look at this one. It is not very easy. You have to focus here, guys. Ready? Hepatotoxicity by ethanol metabolites. This one. See, this ethanol metabolites. What are the metabolites? Acetaldehyde and acetate or acetic acid, correct? Now, this acetaldehyde it pr produces hepatotoxicity by formation of two adults. Adducts. This line here. Acetaldehyde produces hepatotoxicity by forming two adducts. What are those two adducts? Protein aldehyde adduct, malon dialdehyde acetaldehyde adduct. Ma adduct. Ma adduct. Wow. Malon di is gone here. Aldehyde acetaldehyde adduct. We say M D A A A. Okay. But anyways, they have written MAA. So, we'll go with MAA here. Got it, right? Okay. So, tell me. Acetaldehyde produces hepatotoxicity by forming two adducts. That is the protein aldehyde adduct and the malon dialdehyde acetaldehyde adduct. The MA adduct. So, acetaldehyde is very, very, very dangerous, guys. It produces hepatotoxicity by forming two adducts. Okay, now what is the first adduct doing? Protein aldehyde adduct. This protein aldehyde adduct is going to cause cytoskeletal and membrane damage and it can also bring about hepatocellular necrosis. What is this protein aldehyde adduct going to do? Let me give you a blank page weight. So, what is it? It is a protein aldehyde adduct. Protein aldehyde adduct aldehyde yes adduct. what is this going to do cytoskeleton membrane damage hepatocellular necrosis very 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 good now let us go to go back malon d aldehyde dialdehyde malon dialdehyde acetaldehyde adduct this produces auto antibodies initiates autoimmune response they have a role in hepatic fibrogenesis Fibrogenesis is very important. It plays a role in the fibrogenesis. Okay. It plays a role in the fibrogenesis due to peroxisome proliferator activated receptor on hepatocytes. Oops. That is malon dialdehyde 
aldehyd acetaldehyd acetaldehyde products correct did i get the name right guys are you sleeping wake up wake up wake up malon d Di 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 malon di aldehyde acetaldehyde adduct it's called ma adduct <clears throat> it produces auto antibodies it creates auto immune reaction auto and auto immune reaction then it causes hepatic fibrogenesis hepatic fibrogenesis because of these PPAR gamma, PPAR gamma on receptors, receptors on hepatocytes, PPAR gamma receptors on hepatocytes. These adducts also have, sorry, I am reading here, please pay attention, these adducts have also a role in hepatic fibrogenesis due to peroxisome proliferator activated receptor PPAR gamma on hepatocytes. Okay. Because of these receptors on hepatocytes, there can be hepatic fibrogenesis because of these adducts. Malon D, di, 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 malon di, aldehyde, acetaldehyde, adduct. Then we have to go to oxidative stress. Guys, uh, that's still the third point. We need to buck up guys so much to study. Okay, oxidative stress. See what happens? The ethanol is getting oxidized. So, a lot of free radicals are formed because of this oxidation reaction. Who is going to oxidize this ethanol? Alcohol dehydrogenase, cytochrome 450 oxidases, MEOs. Cytochrome 450 oxidases, MEOs, MEOs, MEOs. Where did we see this MEOs? The enzymes, right? Yes, which can get mutated or something to cause alcoholic liver disease. MEOs. So, the oxidation of ethanol will release free radicals and these free radicals are damaging to the membranes and proteins. Moving on to the fourth point, immunological reaction, sorry, immunological mechanism. Again, this is a little complicated. So, let me tell you, this will sub suppress the cell-mediated immunity. It will suppress the cell-mediated immunity and ethanol will directly have an immunologic at attack on the hepatocytes. Some malaries, alcoholic, hyalin, genesis of this is some theory. I'm not going to the details of that. We are leaving that for now. If you want, you can read more about it. Moving on to the fifth point, inflammation, easy, easy, easy. These ethanol, this ethanol not only damages uh, liver, it also damages intestine. That's all they're trying to say. Now, this uh, intestinal cells, they are going to help in the release of, these injured intestinal cells are going to help in the release of pro-inflammatory substances like tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin 1, interleukin 6, and transforming growth factor beta because of all these pro-inflammatory cytokines there is going to be apoptosis and necrosis of hepatocytes and initiation of the inflammatory reaction in the alcohol damaged liver what will you see in the hepatocytes apoptosis necrosis then in the entire liver an inflammatory reaction we have covered five five more to go so let's just take a recap and see what and all we have studied so far. Pathogenesis of alcoholic liver disease. Direct hepatotoxicity by ethanol. Hepatotoxicity by ethanol metabolites. Oxidative stress. Immunological mechanism. Inflammation. Fibrogenesis. Increased redox ratio, retention of liver, cell, water, and protein. Hypoxia, increased liver fat. So great. Uh, let's continue with the remaining five points in the next video. Tata, bye bye.